this is Chrissy from the Tiny Bookcase. Welcome back. I'm so happy to share this book tag with you. The Ballot Playlist Book Tag is a book tag I created inspired by my Spotify playlist. So I hope you enjoy this video and let's get into the songs. So the first song on the playlist is The One Sweet Day by Mariah Carey featuring Boys to Men. So for this song, we'll be looking for a book featuring lost love. And for that, I chose The Third Angel by Alice Hoffman. So I read this book on um, my Libby app. It's a library app where I read ebooks, and I really enjoyed this book. The Third Angel is told in three different story perspectives. It's about three women who choose to um, get into relationships with men that are, might not be the best person for them. Um, and the story seems to, it's told in d three different time periods, but it all kind of comes together at the end. And so you understand the story better as you read through it. I found it um, a bit jarring at the beginning because we were going backwards in time and forwards. And I've never read a story like that before prior to this one. But um, I got the hang of it and I really enjoyed this story. So if you've not read this book, I really recommend it. So the second story, I'm sorry. So the second song on the playlist is Emotion by Samantha Singh featuring the Bee Gees. And so Emotion goes with Jilted Lover. So that would be a story where there is perhaps a breakup or someone who was left at the altar. And for this song, I chose Jane Eyre by Char Charlotte Bronte. So I chose this book because of um, the story. Um, Jane eventually does get engaged to Mr. Rochester, and they are about to be married when she learns that he is already married. And this confuse, confuses her, and as well, it alarms her when she starts to realize um, things are starting to make sense, and she's horrified to learn that her um, the man she loves is actually already married. So I think this book fits Jilted Lover perfectly, and that is why I chose it for number two, Emotion. So the third song on the playlist is by Shalimar. This is for the lover in you. So for this song, the prompt is a memorable proposal or plight your troth. And so I chose Pride and Prejudice by Jane Austen. Because, of course, who does not remember Darcy's proposal to Elizabeth Bennet? In vain I have struggled. It will not do. My feelings have not... My feelings will not be repressed. You must allow me to tell you how ardently I admire and love you. Elizabeth's astonishment was beyond expression. So if he had just kind of stayed on that course... Things might have gone better for him, but of course we know that he doesn't. And so we get this response from Lizzie. It is natural that obligations should be felt, and if I could feel gratitude, I would now thank you, but I cannot. I've never desired your good opinion, and you have certainly bestowed it most unwillingly. I am sorry to have occasioned pain to anyone. It has been most unconsciously done, however, and I hope you will, and I hope it will be of short duration. The feelings which you tell me have long prevent, prevented the acknowledgement of your regard can have little difficulty in overcoming in it after this explanation. So, of course, of course, in Darcy fashion, he is very much upset as he himself could only be and this is the all the reply which I am to have the honor of expecting I might perhaps wish to be informed why with so little endeavor at civility I am thus rejected but it is of small importance and to which Elizabeth responds thus I might as well inquire replied she why, with so evident a design of offending 
and insulting me, you chose to tell me that you liked me against your will, against your reason, and even against your character. Was not this some excuse for incivility if I was uncivil? Ouch. That is just such a bad <laughs> proposal and so iconic. And of course, I had to choose Pride and Prejudice, as you can tell why. Number four on the playlist is On My Own by Patti LaBelle featuring Michael McDonald. And so this song represents second chance lovers. And for this prompt, I chose Persuasion by Jane Austen. This story about Anne Elliot, I feel, is very underrated. Um, I don't think we hear a lot about it. Um, Jane Austen's novels are very popular. And um, Anne Elliot is one of my favorite characters of hers. It Persuasion is one of my favorite Jane Austen novels. And I chose this um, novel um, for the prompt Second Chance Love because in this story Anne Elliot is um, going to be reacquainted with an old um, suitor who uh, asked for her hand in marriage a long time ago and she turned him down on the advice of a dear friend and also because her family did not approve of him. He was a naval officer and her father did not approve of the military. He felt it was an easy way for people to rise in station and he didn't like that. So in this story, Anne Elliot comes back into acquaintance with a Mr. Frederick Wentworth um, and she is very much aware that she is still in love with him and she's also very much aware of what a big mistake she made in turning him down so many years ago. And how he has definitely um, decided he is going to make her suffer for that decision. So if you have not read this book, I encourage you to look it out and to pick it up. And even to um, watch one of the adaptations of the story. Those are truly lovely. Um, and yeah, it's a great book. And I hope that you will... Uh, pick it up and enjoy it. So the fifth song on the playlist is that I guess that's why they call it the blues by Alyssa Cara. And I chose this song. Um, it's inspired for missing the one you love. So the book I chose for this song is Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. So I thought this book was the best choice for missing the one you love because in The Goblet of Fire, um, not only are they doing the Trans-Wizarding trans World Tournament, um, but they also have the uh, Yuletide Ball. And in, at the Yuletide Ball, um, Hermione ends up going to the ball with Victor Crumb and um, Ron and Harry go together to the dance with um, Poverty and, oh my goodness, I forgot the sister's name. It's Padma. I totally, I just totally froze. I couldn't remember her name. So, um, Ron and Harry go to the Leo Thai ball with uh, Poverty and Padma. And in actuality, their, their night's not really going very well because Ron keeps glaring at Hermione, who he feels is a traitor for going to the dance with Victor Crumb. And Harry is constantly stealing glances at Cho, who he would have much rather gone to the Utah ball with. So I I felt that this this book was the best choice for missing the one you love. And that's why I chose it for um, number five. That's why they call it the blues. So number six on the playlist is Through the Fire by Shaka Khan. <laughs> Through the Fire by Shaka Khan. And the prompt for this song is a romantic couple that will risk it all for love. Oops. Okay. 
And for this song, I chose Breaking Dawn by Stephanie Myers. So no surprise there. Um, I think we can all uh, agree that uh, Bella and Edward would go through any lengths to be together. Um, and definitely in this book, um, she actually goes to the most ultimate length where she ends up becoming immortal so that she can give birth to her daughter and um, spend forever with Edward Cullen. And so I think that that was a no-brainer. I kind of knew when I was listening to the song that the couple I would choose for it would be Bella and Edward. Um, they've gone through so much and um, becoming immortal, I think, literally she went through the fire. So um, I think that's the perfect choice for that song. And so for the last song on the playlist, number seven, I chose Endless Love, um, sung by Luther Vandross and Mariah Carey. And for this song, I chose, I am so sorry I got ahead of myself. I forgot to give you the prompt. Endless Love, an, a literary couple with an iconic love story. And for this song, I chose Anne of Green Gables. Yep, I chose Anne, Shirley, and Gilbert Blythe as my iconic love story. Um, since the very two, first time these two have been brought together in the story, um, you just knew that there was something going to uh, occur with them. And I was so happy to, um, to witness their love story develop over the book series. They are my favorite um, literary couple. There was some good company, and for a while I was torn. But I knew that the moment that Anne broke that slate over Gilbert Blythe's head, that the, something was going to go on with them too. And I was so happy to see their relationship develop and eventually marry in, later in the series. So there you have it. That's my iconic love story couple. There were some close runner-ups, though, and um, I was torn, like I said before, but I, I'm happy with my choices, so I hope you enjoy this book tag, and I hope you, you have fun watching this video, and give it a like if you so enjoyed it, and I tag anyone who wants to do this book tag. I will leave the playlist and the prompts below in the description box if you want to do this book tag for yourself. But until next time, I hope you have a good day. Take care and God bless. See you next time. Bye.